Hi Year 10 and welcome back to the second lesson on Hajj. Your learning objective for today's lesson is by the end of the lesson you will be able to understand the importance of Hajj and what happens during the pilgrimage. Let's get started. Now for the starter task I would like you to follow the link online to test yourselves on your knowledge from last lesson. Can you remember all key words? Now, once you're finished, you can attempt the mastered question and I would like you to explain the importance of Hajj for Muslims. How much can you remember? Now, in this section, we are looking at the journey of Hajj, which links back to our learning objective as we are going to understand what happens during the pilgrimage. Now, what I would like you to do, you need to read the information sheet on the steps of Hajj using it on your device or on your, using your mini whiteboards. I would like you to summarise each stage of Hajj in your own words. I would like you to attempt the mastered question and explain how might a Muslim's life change after completing Hajj. Now, once you are finished, I would like you to watch the YouTube video on Hajj. Using a different coloured pen, I would like you to add new information you have learnt from the video. Once you are finished, take a picture of your work and upload it onto class charts. Now we are looking at the benefits and challenges of Hajj. I would like you to read page 89 in the revision guide on the last section which talks about the benefits and the challenges on Hajj. Using a piece of paper or on your device or using a mini whiteboard, I would like you to create a table with the subheadings benefits and challenges. I would like you to write down three benefits and three challenges of Hajj. Once you're finished, you can attempt the master's question and explain whether the challenges of Hajj outweigh the benefits. Now, we are looking at some quotes. I would like you to read the quotes on the screen in the yellow box. I would like you to choose either the Quranic quote or Hadith. I would then like you to explain what it means. Once you have explained that, you will need to explain why this makes Hajj important to Muslims. If you are finished, attempt the mastered question and answer the question in green. Do all Muslims need to go to Hajj? Now, once you have completed that, you are going to be completing a exam question. This is a five mark question and you will need to start off using either a quote from the Quran or the Hadith. Once you have finished, I would like you to take a picture of your work and upload it onto class charts. Thank you, Year 10. Good luck.